Hello, I'm Tasha and welcome to QB Conservation, your lockdown lowdown on new ecology research. In this series, we challenged biologists at Queen's to tell us about exciting new research in just a few minutes. Hello and welcome to today's episode. We're going to be speaking to Gavin about his research on fearscapes. Hey. My name is Gavin Grant and I'm a PhD student at Queen's. Could you describe to me in a nutshell what is a fearscape? Essentially, a fearscape is all of the indirect uh, effects that fear have in, a, in an ecological landscape. So it's not something eating something, it's something scaring something, and then it changes its behavior. Predators as a tool in conservation have been around for a while, since at least the 2000s, but it's kind of very context specific. They're not a fix all, and you need to know exactly what kind of species you want to reintroduce to an area or in, increase in number. But they're a very useful conservation tool in reversing or reducing negative effects that these or predators have. Essentially, from research that we've seen previously in Strangford Lock, we know that things like crustaceans and starfish have had a massive increase since uh, populations of the lavabranks and other top predators have decreased. So that's a huge problem for ecology. And in Strangford Lock, the basis of the system is horse mussels. They have over 120 species associated with them. They're ecosystem engineers, they build off themselves, but they're very vulnerable because they're trickle spatters, so they don't spat all at once like blue mussels do. And then crabs and other mesopredators can just pick these off like popcorn. The plan is to steadily build more and more uh, support for the idea of something like a reintroduction program. Um, now, it'll take a long time and a lot of work, but Strangford Lock has the potential to be so much more if you rebalance the ecosystem. That sounds like a fantastic outcome to aim for. Thanks so much for telling us all about your research.